We watch World Cup ski racers because they are the best. We tend to pick out features of their technique that we assume make them faster than even their world-class competition. This strategy is a slippery slope because observations that lead to assumptions that form conclusions or absolutes can be misleading. Should we coach to an upright stance because Sebastian Fols-Sulevog and Philip Zubczyk ski that way? If so, then how do we explain Luca Arni and Michael Matt who ski more hunched? How about World Cup winners Manny Feller, who has a closed stance, and Daniel Yule, who has a wider stance? Alexander Kershaw stays very flexed in the lower body, but Manfred Moog stands taller. Juliana Rosoli carries his hands very low, while Sebastian Holtzman's hands are higher. Alec Vinitzer has early counter, while Christopher Jakobsen is more square. Instead of looking for that secret move, let's look for characteristics that are common among all the best. In motor control, these are called invariant features, or features that do not vary. In other words, they're common to all. And since we're coaching in a long-term athlete developmental plan, these are features that are indigenous from the least developmental athlete to the most developed athlete. Okay, what you've been waiting for, probably. Characteristics in a modern slalom. Simultaneous edge release. The skis move together. They stay parallel. The skier is balanced on the outside ski at gate passage. Gate passage is where the skis are in the fall line and where we see max pressure. The outside leg stays long throughout the turn. And lastly, fore aft balance is maintained.
There's no secret sauce. There's no magic. Good skiing leads to good ski racing. Let's keep it simple. The young or older athlete can only focus on one item at a time. And you can only put so much water in the glass before it overflows. And so much info into the ski racer's head before it overflows. I'm Ron Kipp. Let's be the best.